Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. I'm here with the 35 millimeter lens because this is what we're gonna be using, uh, what I used to take this picture. This picture is of uh, Whole Foods in Chicago and it's a very popular place. I'm sure you guys all know of it. Some people joke it's called Whole Paycheck because it's so damn expensive there. Um, everything's expensive. It's just that kind of economy. So um, Whole Foods is expensive, but everyone still seems to find money to shop there. So go figure. Uh, this picture is one of my favorites. I've taken it with the X-T1 and this uh, 35 millimeter mounted on it. Uh, like I said before in previous how I shot videos, 35 with the 1.5 crop factor ends up being around 50 and it's very equivalent to the human eye. So that's why they say these are great for street photography. In my opinion, for street photography, you want to go a little wider in my opinion. So maybe a 27 would be good. Uh, but 35 is good for people as well. So I was looking for the ultimate lens at that time and this worked out well for me. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this Whole Foods picture. I think this picture came out really great. I didn't do too much to it in the post-processing, maybe a little bit of cropping in the left or right side, but the way you see is the way it was shot. And I really am proud of this picture because I almost missed the opportunity. I was walking with my girlfriend, they were walking out after taking pictures all throughout the store. I should mention I'm the one taking pictures in the store, she was the one doing the shopping, and I was probably annoying a lot of people taking these shots. Um, like what's so interesting about cheese, right? Well, a lot of things are interesting about cheese when you take it a nice lens to it. So I was the one bugging everybody taking pictures. Um, anyway, I was pretty uh, satisfied with the pictures I was taking and we were on our way out to the car. And my girlfriend said, hey, why don't you look over there? That's a nice area to take a shot of. And I looked over this ledge. And it's kind of like a multi-tiered store here in Chicago. It's huge, the Whole Foods here, Whole Paycheck. Um, I looked over and it's overseeing the produce section and in between us, which were high up, and the produce section down below, there's these hanging loops that advertise Whole Foods' as mantra and all that stuff and kind of fits in with their image really well. I'm sure it's all made of recycled materials and uh, it's really awesome. And I said, wow, it's such a beautiful scene. If she hadn't said anything, I would have missed this opportunity altogether. You know, and uh, I actually took this lens, I, I had it still on, I kind of angled it and it really wasn't, it's such a vast a scene. I couldn't get it to look right in the camera's you know, EVF. So I was like, uh, it's kind of a lost cause I thought. But she said, why don't you go over there in that corner? And I thought, and that's a pretty good idea. You know, if, if a scene doesn't work for you guys, we need to move ourselves. We can't rely on a different lens, which is already where my mind was going. I should have a different camera. I should have a different lens but you should move your body and you should try to make it work no matter what you're using. So I moved over to the corner, the extreme corner, and I'm kind of crunched in. I angled the camera like this and somehow I got the shot. And there's a person down there. And if you zoom in really close, it's pretty grainy because at that point there really wasn't that much light. And I think I was on full on auto at this point. I was just trying to get the shot. I wasn't worried too much about the lighting and all that. There wasn't really much of it anyway. So uh, I took that shot and I, I looked at it and I knew that I was happy with this shot, so much so that I couldn't really duplicate because the person left and it just wasn't the same anymore. I went home immediately, started working on the shot, looking at it in camera raw. I was very happy the way it looked, the way that the circles intertwined with each other, um, and it probably would have happened with any lens that I had, uh, but you know, the 35 works for these vast situations as well. I can't remember what the aperture setting was, because it was probably on automatic all the way through and through. And uh, so the camera chose for me. But in this case, automatic worked out just fine. And if I did it myself on manual, I can't say I would have chosen better settings. So sometimes automatic can teach you a few things here and there. So let's get right into how it looks. There's a person in the middle there. It's kind of grainy. Obviously we're, high, we're at high ISO settings and the grittiness kind of worked. And what really sealed the deal for me was when I shared this picture on Instagram, I kind of came up with this idea of calling it Whole Foods, pun intended with the H-O-L-E, right? Maybe referring to the hole in your pocket or something like that. And, and the hole, the circle holes. Um, sometimes the picture was great, but sometimes when you come up with a name for it and you title it yourself, a piece of artwork that you're proud of, it can really heighten the picture for you. I'm like, hey, I kind of like it all over again, you know, and you show it to the people and it kind of makes it a little kitschy, you know? So I do like this picture a lot. So here's some other photos that I took at Whole Foods. Uh, you'll see I'm really up close to this owl ornament there. 
Um, and I, I really like this picture because I love macro photography. Whether this counts macro photography, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely very close up. So 35 millimeter lens definitely works very well for getting pretty close up on images and getting crystal clear. Here's another image of uh, some bottles, some champagne bottles all wrapped up, ready to go for consumers. And I kind of did select and focus there and it blurred everything out. And I love the background blur on this kind of lens. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten the same result if I used the 18 to 55 kit lens. Kit uh, lens, it's a fantastic lens in its own right. And uh, it doesn't really matter what you use, as long as you're far away and you kind of create that depth, you can get the same results. And it came out great. So I hope you guys learned a little something about this whole food shoot that I did a few months back. Uh, take your camera to a, uh, you know, a place like Whole Foods or Mariano's or some store like that. There's a lot of textures to be seen, uh, a lot of raw meats and cheeses you can take pictures of at different perspectives can let people see, you know, they see cheese and meats all the time. They see bottles of things all the time. They see the perspective leaning over uh, the ledge all the time. What's the big deal? The big deal is when you take your camera through your eyes and invent a different perspective on it, do a different kind of composition on it, do a different lighting on it, do a different filter on it, it can change the perspective that people are so used to seeing. They get numb to it. I've seen that before a million times. But the moment you do it, you have the opportunity to create something different with it. You know, take your brush to the canvas and create something different with the ordinary, so to speak. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I tend to ramble on with my own thinking, but uh, I think we're on the same wavelength, you and me. You know what I mean? Okay, so if you haven't tried out this lens, try it out. It's my next favorite lens compared to the 1855 millimeter lens, which is a zoom lens and I highly recommend both. Thank you very much guys for watching. Thank you for the subscribes, the likes, and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.